Hey, what's up guys? It's Patrick here and today I'm bringing you guys the next episode of my Boom Beach Let's Play series. So in the last video we upgraded my HQ up to level 5 and since then I've had a couple days to upgrade my stuff. So I've upgraded the sniper towers, the residence, the vault, the machine gun, pretty much everything. So now we can finally build those new buildings we got at HQ5. So first of all I'm going to upgrade that sniper tower or build that sniper tower, only a 3 second build. And then next, I will build the Sculptor. So this is a really important building. This will let me get those idols, I guess, or those statues that give you powerful boosts. Uh, so checking out that there, yeah, you can get a maximum of three statues. And they give you, like, special boosts when it comes to loot, when it comes to attack and defense strength. So I'm looking to build those as soon as possible. How you build those is you pick up different types of shards, like life shards, crystal shards. I guess magma shards and dark shards, so we'll have to keep our eye out for those and we get those from destroying bases. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade that sniper tower, only a 5 minute upgrade, and since I've pretty much done all the upgrades for this headquarters when we were away, um, let's go ahead and upgrade it to level 6. So we get a bunch of stuff for upgrading to level 6. We get the cannon, we also unlock stone, I think, which is also another resource. As well as we get another landing craft, which will be awesome. So let's go ahead and get to a couple battles. Let's see if we can save up the stuff we need. And from there, we will go ahead and do our upgrades. All right, base number one looks like it's only a single sniper tower. But from dropping those artillery, it looks like it's a pretty powerful one. So for this raid, you're going to see for the first time my Zookas in action. I also upgraded my uh, my landing craft, so I can hold two heavies in a single landing craft now. But the Zookas, they do a lot of damage from a pretty far distance. But the problem with them is they barely have any health. So if your Zookas ever get hit by any defenses or even a mine, they will generally lose their life or maybe take like 75% damage. So make sure that you protect those at all costs. Make sure you have the heavy up front. Make sure you have riflemen in front of those and yeah that'll definitely help you out a lot and make sure they don't go down fast all right looks like we lost both of our heavies in this raid because that was a pretty powerful tower as well as we did pick up some life shards which we can use for some statues and let's go ahead and attack hammerheads hq so this is the first one we've attacked and this is sort of a boss base and i was looking at the strategy i googled it some like tech review site had the strategy on it and pretty much what you do is you funnel your troops around the side so you're gonna see my pathetic attempt at this strategy and uh, yeah, so the problem, like the thing about this base, you can see that um, I think it's a machine gun in the center and that machine gun does so much damage that you can attack it with like bazookas or your zookas and heavies, but someone found this dumb strategy where you can move your troops around it and then attack it from the back. So you can see right here, a lot of my troops are going down. I'm losing all my zookas. I'm losing all my riflemen. I really didn't mean to bring my, my zookas to this one. All I wanted was my riflemen. And eventually, you're going to see these riflemen go down one by one. So I was a little bit worried that this strategy was going to fail me. I was going to find that website that I found it on and I write a bad review. But after my guys get shot down for a little bit longer, I'll actually have a couple of them survive. So again, this is Hammer, Hammer, Hand, Hammer Man's HQ level 10. This is like pretty much the first boss base, I guess, that you unlock. And if you guys want to use this strategy, even though it's really ugly, it worked out for me. I just had to wait for my troops to shoot down this thing slowly but surely. And uh, yeah, after we defeat this, I think we unlock Dr. Terror, which is like a whole nother event. And really, I have to do some research on that because I have no idea what this is about. All right, looks like he's complaining. Let's go ahead and check out our victory. We got five medals, which is crazy, as well as five of those shards, as well as, I think, a crystal, and uh, I don't even know what those things are called. <laughs> Anyways, 8,800 wood. Again, plenty of gold, lots of casualties, but it was all worth it to destroy that base. And after I cooked up some more, let's go ahead and check out the next one. So looking at this base here, I'm just scouting it right now. This is another, like, real-life base. And looking at this guy, his headquarters is all the way in the back. So... Really, all I have to do is try to flank around, and I should be able to get by this guy, no problem. So, let me take care of those two buildings right there, and all I'm going to do is drop my troops. I'm going to have my heavies a little bit closer to that sniper tower so they get shot at, and I'm just going to flank him around the back and destroy his base. So, now that my heavies are providing me a little cover, I also have my sniper, or my rifleman and my zookas. Looks like we're going to do a pretty good job. We might lose maybe one, two, or three troops, uh, especially because I didn't have enough for another flare, and I guess that turned into a little bit of a problem. But now that I have enough for that second flare, I can drop it up here, and hopefully they'll stay away from the rest of the defenses. 
So all I'm going to have to do is just watch these guys run a little bit longer. There is a machine gun in the sniper tower in the front, but I think they're not going to have the range to reach my guys. So let's look, go ahead and watch those guys destroy the rest of the base. And with one more flare to guide them into the safe zone, we will be good to go. And we can go ahead and fast forward. So a little bit sloppy. I really didn't do the calculation right for that one. Did end up with a pretty good amount of resources for that. And let's go ahead and head back to base and wrap it up for today. So looking at the sculptor, I do have, I think, six of those. So I don't have enough yet just to build an idol. So I'll try to save up for those for the next episode. And then we did get enough wood to upgrade our headquarters to, to level six. So again, we're going to get a landing craft, a cannon, another machine gun, some more mines. So it's going to be a pretty sweet upgrade. And I'm looking forward to that next. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Let me go ahead and re reinforce some troops for the next one. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed it. And definitely tell me how you guys are enjoying the game. I think this is episode nine right here. And so far, I'm having a great time and uh, I'm still kicking some butt. So we'll see when we run into a wall pretty soon. But yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.